Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2023 Kia Carnival, we're going to be showing you how to install the Kurt trailer hitch receiver. Before we get into that though, why don't we just take a minute and check this out, make sure it'll work for you. With the Carnival being a pretty popular family type vehicle, it makes sense to have a hitch back here. You know, that way you can use accessories and uh, things like that, whether you're trying to put a cargo carrier back here on a vacation, you know, to free up some space on the inside, maybe use a bike rack to, to take the family out riding, or uh, even hook up a trailer and pull your trailer around. This is going to allow you to get that done. To figure out what hitch will be best for you, I really feel like just depends on, you know, how you want it to look and what you plan on doing with it. This one looks pretty good in my opinion. It kind of bends back underneath the vehicle. Personally, I like the looks of the e-trailer one a little bit better. It's shaped the same exact way as this, but it has a more of a matte black carbide type finish. It kind of matches the uh, bumper trim here a little bit better, but that's just my opinion. And uh, you know, the current e-trailer are gonna be great all around hitches. There is a draw tight one available that uh, I usually like to recommend if you're gonna be doing more heavy duty type towing, kind of set up a little bit more for that. But uh, either way, you know, they're all gonna allow you to use accessories and pull your trailer. The hitch is gonna have a two inch by two inch receiver tube opening, which is a super common size. So a ton of different things will work with it. It's going to use that standard 5 8 pin and clip, which does not come with the hitch. If you need one, not a big deal. You can grab it right here at each trailer or a lot of times if you end up picking up a new accessory, they'll come with one. So just something to keep in mind. The safety chain openings are a plate style and are gonna be pretty big, uh, which will allow you to use pretty much any size hook that your trailer might have on it. As far as the hitch's weight capacities go, uh, it's gonna have some pretty high numbers. Maximum gross tongue weight rating is gonna be 600 pounds, which is the amount of weight pushing down on the hitch. So that'll be more than enough for pretty much any size bike rack or cargo carrier that you'd wanna use, for example. As far as the maximum gross trailer weight rating goes, that's gonna be 4,000 pounds. That's the amount of weight pulling on the hitch. So that's the weight of your trailer, plus anything that you might have in or on it. Uh, with that said though, I do always like to recommend, never a bad idea just to grab your Kia's owner's manual. That way you can check in there and make sure your Carnival can handle that much weight safely. Now we can grab a couple of measurements and these will help us figure out what type of accessories will work best. If you go from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening, that's gonna be about 11 and a half inches. So if you can get an accessory that has a rise in the shank, that'd probably be better, give you a little more clearance there. Or if you're gonna be pulling a trailer, you'll want a ball mount that has a rise. Probably that four inch range for most people should work out really well. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of our rear bumper, that's gonna be about four and a half inches, which is pretty good clearance, so you shouldn't run into any issues, but you can use that to help figure out exactly if you can fold those accessories upright and not have to worry about them hitting the back of your Kia. When it comes down to it, a good all around hitch, you know, it'll handle pretty much anything you wanna throw at it. As far as the installation goes, really not too bad. Uh, you, you take a small panel down over here, let the exhaust come down a little bit, which is straightforward. And essentially this just kind of bolts right up into place. So shouldn't run into too many issues or take up a bunch of your time. With that said though, why don't we go ahead, pull into the garage and put it on together now. To begin our installation, we're gonna be underneath the back of our Kia. And what we need to do first over here on the driver's side is remove this underbody panel. So there's gonna be several push pin style fasteners kind of along the edges. And you can take a flat head screwdriver, kind of pry out on the head, and then you can get out uh, the whole base there. So we'll just work our way around and get all of them removed. You'll have a push pin on the front side of the underbody panel. Right there. So once we get that last one out, it should drop down and we can get it out of the way. We are gonna need to lower our exhaust on some to give us some space to work. Before we do that, I like to take a strap and just run it from side to side. That way we can kind of control how fast and how far we let the exhaust come down. There's gonna be two rubber isolator hangers that we need to remove. One right here by the tailpipe. And you can spray these down with soapy water just to help lubricate them. 
Then you could take a pry bar or a screwdriver, whatever you got that'll work and pry one end of the hanger off. It doesn't really matter which side you do. It's whatever one's easier to get to. The second hanger will be on the back side of our muffler here. And we'll use that same technique to get that hanger off. Once that is done, we should be able to loosen up our strap a little bit and let the exhaust come down a ways. Now we can go over our attachment points that will secure our hitch. We're gonna have three on each side and they're gonna be the same on each side of the vehicle. This one, this one, and that one. We wanna make sure that these are clean, so I sprayed in some penetrating oil in there. You can take a tube brush, just kinda of work it back and forth to get any dirt or junk out of there. And I wanna mention from this point on, anything we do to one side of our vehicle, we'll also do it to the other side because it'll be set up the same way. On the sides of our trunk pan here, there's going to be some sealer and um, this may interfere with getting our hitch up. So you want to take a putty knife or a scraper and just get some of it removed. That way when we go to put the hitch up, we're not going to have any interference. So we got the sealant removed and you don't have to get too crazy here. I just kind of went around um, this bend here and got it remotely flush and that should provide us with enough clearance to get our hitch up. Before we get our hitch up, I just want to go over the hardware that we're going to use to secure it. And it's going to be the same for all of our attachment points. Just going to have a bolt and a conical tooth washer. Make sure the teeth on the washer are going to face up towards the hitch and we're going to hold the hitch up, line it up with the holes, and then the hardware will just simply thread right into the attachment points. Now with an extra set of hands, you can get our hitch into position. Over on that side, you want to go up and over the exhaust pipe. here and get our hardware started hand tight. Once you have all the hardware in place and hand tight, you can come back with a three quarter inch socket and snug it all down. Don't forget to come back with a torque wrench and tighten down all the hardware to the amount specified in the instructions. You can go ahead and get our exhaust rehung. So just re-lubricate the hangers and Usually you can just kind of work everything in place by hand to put them back. And now that it is supporting itself, go ahead and remove our strap. What we can do now is trim our panel out uh, according to the diagram and the instruction. So I just drew that out. This is somewhat thin plastic. I'm just going to use a pair of snips to get everything cut out of here. With the panel cut, went ahead and just reinstalled it the opposite way that we removed it. And with this all done, we're all good to go. So that'll finish up our look at and installation of the Kurt trailer hitch receiver on our 2023 Kia Carnival.